Hello Syringa, it's Mr. Yowl here to help you with an introduction to exponents. I've got my pet rock here to help us out. Thank you, Balboa. It's an introduction to exponents. If you already know stuff about exponents, that's great, but it could just be brand new to you. So we're going to do a little bit of where we start before we do a whole unit. A lot of students freak out about exponents because they seem scary and new. But do you remember when you had to do a brand new thing in elementary school called multiplying? Yeah, that was pretty crazy. But now you're an expert at multiplying. Well, exponents are kind of like that, except they're further up on the order of operations. You remember the order of operations? A lot of you learned the PEMDAS model. Uh, I personally prefer Gemma, <clears throat> but whichever one you like, the order of operations has stuff about grouping symbols, then you do the exponents, then you multiply and divide, then you add and subtract, and you first started out learning adding, then you learned about how to multiply, and we're just moving up the ladder to more important mathematical operations. It'll feel a little weird at first, but you'll get used to it and you'll do just fine. Let's take a look at what those exponents look like. Here's my first example. And we're going to talk about three key things about exponents. What are the parts? How do you say it? And what does it mean? So before we worry about what it all means, we want to know how to say it. In order to talk about it, we need to know all the parts. I think vocabulary is really important so that we mean what we say and we say what we mean, especially when it's something new. We don't want to talk about the toppy part and the bottomy part. You might get confused about how you talk about fractions. No, I know you guys say numerator and denominator instead of toppy part and bottomy part. But this isn't a fraction, so we shouldn't say numerator and denominator. We should say it, call it by its proper parts. The key piece that we're worried about is up here. That's the exponent. You might be wondering then, what's the seven called? That's referred to as the base. It's all about the base, the base. We can actually refer to the whole thing, too. The whole thing all together is called a power. So we'll be focusing on noticing the exponents, but the math we'll be doing is math about the whole power. Now, how do you say it? Come on down here, Rocky. Thank you. You say base to the exponent power. So I would here say 7 to the fourth power. Here's a couple sample problems. Just try to say them out loud. Base to the exponent power. 3 to the eighth power. Try this one. X to the 27th power. 6 to the wife power. Yeah, that's how you say it, wife. How about I to the teeth power? <laughs> it sounds like teeth. A to the tooth power? I guess if you want to call it the tooth power, that's okay. English speakers would probably say A to the second power, but as a mathematician, I'd be okay with A to the tooth or B to the threeth. We should probably say third. 
These two actually have special names as well. The second power is often referred to as squared. It turns out that using the second power would find the area of a square. Similarly, the shortcut word for the third power is cubed. The third power would be called cubed because it would find the volume of a cube. You'll hear your math teachers often say squared and cubed as shortcuts instead of saying a to the second power and b to the third power. You don't have to use those shortcut words, but I want you to be aware of them in case they come up. All right. What are the parts? Base, exponent, power. How do you say it? You say base to the exponent's power. But what does it mean? All right, Balboa. Over here now. What does it mean? 7 to the fourth power means we have the base as a factor exponent times. So 7 to the fourth power means I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4 factors of 7. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. 4 factors of 7. Now, you might wonder what huge number that multiplies out to be, and I don't really care. We can get a calculator if we really want to know, but today it's just about what it means. It means 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Four factors of 7. Here are a couple more examples to try. 5 to the third means three factors of 5. There's not any 3's in that problem. It's all 5's. x to the 4th. 1, 2, 3, 4. Means I have 4 factors of x. There aren't any 4's in that problem either. The exponent just counts how many x's there are. Oh, look at this huge one. 256 squared. 256 times 256, two of those 256's. One to the tenth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Keep track, but all you have to do is understand What's going on? If you keep coming back to this understanding, the rest of the unit will be really easy. See you next time. Say bye, Balboa.